Hello everybody, uh, this time about the K adding K, all K lost, and exactly the all K lost, it's not just to add the K, it's exactly the function all K lost. So in this case we have this lovely Audi A3, as you can see this lovely dashboard, it has actually in there uh, the dash, and it has inside the EPROM as well. As you may probably already know, uh, you have this lovely uh, dash, which one is Micronus. Micronus CDC 321.7 or 32.97, okay? And plus 24C32 EPROM. So normally you do adding K and all that stuff. If you have a good working K, that's not the problem. You just take your good working K and you can definitely pretty easy just program it and add it uh, to the vehicle. Then you can normally read dash and write dash. Otherwise, uh, then uh, it's not allowed to read the EPROM through the OBD port. In this case, I tried the pad. It was not working at all. We tried a different one case, which one we had one, and uh, all that was without the success. We have a normal, which one is ED48, uh, uh, the Emo chip, okay, uh, this uh, basically glass one, which one can broke pretty easy, so uh, take care and do it as uh, good as you can. Do not broke that. Uh, we have just blank. Uh, blank chip, okay, and uh, only tool that we tried the auto as well Here you go. The auto does was same. So all the programmer on the stuff all was the same no success and uh, Then we yes, then we get the big big daddy and big daddy is a uh, z-full Yes, normally you switch on ignition and you have the save button on okay, so you cannot do anything uh, This lovely thing was done all uh, so what we done before we first of all delete uh, fully all case, okay, by this function. By this function, we deleted old code. Then we just took the steel one ED48 and uh, uh, made a pre made pre code uh, transporter, okay. And uh, when it was pre coded, it gives us pin code as well. And uh, we read the pin code. Let me go back and I will show you. Look, extract pin code, okay. <laughs> so that is the main thing. We did get out from the OBD port the pin code and the CS code, okay? And then we went by the the remote programming is very easy. It's uh, you can do with the diagnostic. It's not the big deal. The program K is big deal, okay? And when we go program K, uh, we deleted old code, uh, all case, and uh, generate the transporter K, and uh, then we went just by the add the K, okay? And when we done add the K, we just add how much K we want. Um, it took some credits, okay, but that was the best thing what we find out. It's done all by the OBD because otherwise what you need to do... Uh, let me pop this little monster away. Uh, you need to remove the dash. We already starting removing the dash, okay? Because all K's was completed lost. We didn't have any original K, so that was the biggest problem. And um, removing the dash, there is a plenty of videos you can find in YouTube how to remove the plate and how to connect soldering uh, to the pins, okay? And there is a plenty of stuff, I will show you one. So here you go, that Micronus. Uh, you can do, you can read the EPROM to get the pin code, uh, to get the CS code, and then you can program it probably with the Altel or wherever with the pad when you got this EPROM, okay? But in this particular case, when <laughs> we have a Z full, we don't need to do it. Uh, as you can see, normally this is a dash when you remove it. It's that Micronus. You can see the thing what you need to do is to remove actually some resistor, okay? Here you go. This is the place where you need to remove the resistor. Then you have a blue connection here. And uh, to connect, to read the... Read the... Read the, basically that Micronus. And then you have some coax cell cable, okay? Here you go. And here you have a coax cell cable. And then you have a special pinouts uh, by the colors, okay? You can find that on the internet. That's not a problem at all. But that's a big deal, actually. Not that really big, but you need to remove a dash. Another one more thing was uh, we did actually get a special coil uh, for our z full Because you need to put that coil original on your ignition coil, okay? And then... Uh, it's pretty interesting look like that on the ignition coil okay 
and then the computer reads the signal which one is transmitted to the car uh, okay emo signal and it's read uh, like that with the coil so you just plug that thing on top and uh, yes you have this coil and after all procedures uh, we put the K in and turn on ignition and you have no more save button in there you see and all K lost all done by the OBT port car starts all working good and remote control working the same good so no problems at all because normally when you turn on the car starts and goes off and you have in here the save okay but when programming then you have a 0 uh, 0.1 or 101 and now we can easy read the EEPROM uh, with the OBD uh, no problems at all and add the next key that's how it's done at the moment I think so thanks for watching because normally I will show you how it is okay when you just turn the ignition look okay it's still still no save a little ah it's save yes normally it's like you start the car and boom okay let's try again and you see the save button okay that's micronus starts and goes off this is normally when you don't have any k okay now i using to show you just a bit of uh steel okay there is no emo of course and uh, when you put the emo on okay emo is an over key um just yeah put the close to ignition switch then all goes okay okay so yes that's what we like to tell you in this case right to the obd port just with some extra coil and special tool all goes all good without any problem so all the a3 programming is so easy stuff it's 2009 year made i think so eight years the same ten year probably the same all with this micro micron stuff it's all done by the obd port no need to refurbish the dash thanks for watching and good luck leave a comment click the subscribe button and uh, stay tuned